What's up guys? Today we're going to take a look at how to deploy our front-end apps using Vercel. Now, Vercel is a really great platform that you could use to deploy any kind of front-end app and it has very little configuration needed and it's really easy to get set up and just deploy a website. So today we're going to deploy a React app and I've prepared one right here. So to showcase how to do, uh, deploy it, I'm going to make a small change in the code. Let's just um, replace this HTML saying we are deploying this website to Vercel. And once we have that, we can save it, create a, a commit. Just say yeah, minor change to um, main page. Now, uh, I haven't created a repo for this, so I'll make a, a repository in GitHub. And I'm just going to call it uh, React Vercel. Yeah, this is all good. So we're going to create the repository. And yeah, just add this as remote. And once we have that, we could go ahead and push. Uh, we just need to set it upstream. And when, since we have that, we could take a look and refresh this. And we have our React uh, app already in GitHub, and that's the first step we need to deploy it in Vercel. So once we have that, that's good. Now we could go to to Vercel and we could log in. And you could you know log in many types of ways. I just use GitHub. That's the most simplest. But you could use whichever you want. And of course, if it's your first time, you go ahead and sign up first and then log in. So once you're logged in, this is the main page that you see. Now, in order to deploy a website, we first create a new project for that uh, for that front app, front end app. And you you need to import your Git repositories. You just continue with GitHub since that's where we're getting where that's where we're getting all these repositories from. And you can see Kevin Tech. That's the one loaded in, and you see all your repositories. And you will already see an icon that Vercel is like reading from those files that it knows it's a React app. And this is the one we want to import and then deploy. Now to, to configure your project, yeah, you can name it a project uh, name. One thing to keep in mind, this is going to be uh, unique across all Vercel apps. So usually if it's something generic like React Vercel, it's going to give some random um, things right here. But we could give it... Uh, something like, yeah, I'm just going to put Kevin Tech at the end. And that should be good. So once you have a project name, then you can see this is already preloaded. The framework that we're using is Create React App. Um, and these these are good by default. Uh, essentially, if you're just using the default way to to um, run the, the build command, you know, the build uh, output directory for React, this is all good, and npm install. So if you have something custom, you could... Um, Customize this, but it's good if you're just using the the normal way of using react then you just deploy and uh, You can see that it's uh, running these on um, build scripts and once this all runs it's going to probably take a few seconds We could actually take a look at what's happening in the build So it's gonna run npm install and then npm build so that's all if you would you know run this uh, locally, you would see all the same output. It's running the, the usual NPM scripts to create a React uh, production build. So it loaded up something new and says, congratulations, you deployed your project to Vercel. It even has this really nice animations. And this is actually the preview. So if you click here, it's going to open up a new tab. And this is the React app that we deployed. So we're deploying this website to Vercel. That's the change we made. And you can see we successfully uh, deployed this app. Now we could look at some, some you know, settings that we have. We could just continue to dashboard once you deployed it. Uh, you could look at things like view domains. If we click here, yeah, it just takes you to that uh, website. Just looking at the domains. Oh yeah, you could edit. So if you don't like the name that you gave it, so I said React or still Kevin and Tech, you could edit this and change it. Of course, you won't be able to change all of it because this has to be specific. Um, but this 
uh, this you could change to whatever. So instead of Kevin Tech, maybe I just want Kev for short. Um, you can just leave these the same and save it. And it's actually pretty quick to refresh. If I just click this, you can see the new URL is now the one that's live. So that's that's really nice. We could take a look at the deployments right here. So if, so far it's only been the initial deployment. And you can see like you can see the build scripts that we looked at previously. Um, you could look at the source. So the source is the, the repo from GitHub. So if you just click this, it'll just take you to your repo. Just go back and the output. So this is the production build of that React app, and that's what's actually being deployed. So this is the minified and you know bundled version of all the JS code, CSS, and any kind of file that it needs. So the cool thing about this, once you have this set up, anytime you push a change to master, so the main whatever whatever main branch you have in this repo, it will redeploy and show those changes. So I'm actually gonna bring up the local version of that app and we're going to make another change. I'm just going to yeah, just keep it simple for now and another change to deploy. Save that. Just look at status, add, and then commit. Say so another change. And once we push this, the deployment is actually already initiated. So we go back here and we want to, uh, yeah, go back to the projects and yeah, under the project, you can have the deployments. And then you can see that this, this is the next deployment that we made. You can see the, the commit message, another change, and it's currently building. So once this runs, it will be, and it's already, so it's actually pretty fast. The second time you deploy, I'm guessing all the other deployments afterwards. And you could click on it and yeah, you could click this or visit the website, It'll bring up the same thing. And you can see it has this uh, another change to so the change we made to our local um, React app. Now you can see the URL is slightly, it's different. Uh, I think it actually, so Vercel has multiple domains that it deploys to, because if you click on this one, this is the one we configured that also shows. I believe, yeah, you could go down to here, deployment status and click on assigning domains. So for some reason, Vercel has a, a multiple domain um, domains that it, it will deploy to, but uh, the one that you set up is probably the one that you'll use and that works as well. So I'll put a link to all the resources I used in the video down in the description, but I hope you learned something new. This Vercel is a pretty, cool way to deploy and it's really simple to get started. So I think, I think it's a good way to deploy all your, um, you know, your personal apps, your portfolio website, whatever you have. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.